I've generated over half a gigawatt of electricity using solar panels in the first three months of this year. It means that I've been able to reduce my electricity usage by over 70% and I've not paid a single penny to my electricity company. So join me and let's find out how my investment of £11,600 is generating me around about £60 of electricity every month. Let's go. Spring has sprung. Welcome to March. It's definitely a wet one this month, but somehow I've managed to generate 216.5 kilowatt hours of electricity. I exported 47 kilowatt hours to the grid. That's less than he imported. Absolutely amazing. There were some low days, but I peaked at 15.2 on the 14th of March. Now the best thing about this is that my energy usage has actually gone down. So I'm making more electricity, but I'm being more conservative with what I'm using. And that means that I'm making even more money. Let's take a close look at some of the other days. Now one thing that I'm benefiting with is my 6.5 kilowatt hour battery. It means that when the sun's shining, I'm able to store that battery and it runs through the night and then through the daytime, I'm not having to download from the grid making even more savings. Now my total load consumption for Mars was 186 kilowatts, 147 kilowatts just from my solar. So the rest was from the grid. And that's only 42.6 kilowatt hours, <laughs> making me 77% self-sufficient. That's a 7% increase on last month, which means that my savings are really paying off. I really am being more conservative with my usage. Overall, that's an even bigger increase on January's usage, where I was 43% sufficient on solar power, but I'm using around about 220 kilowatts of electricity. Now I'm pretty consistent from year to year. However, I've managed to reduce my monthly consumption by about 20 kilowatts, but on average, I'm about 200 kilowatts. So let's interrogate this data even further. Now there's something really interesting in some of these figures. Now for example, on some days, apparently I've been generating more than 3.85 kilowatts of electricity. How is that even possible? If you've got an idea, let us know in the comments. It's really weirding me out, but who cares? If my panels are generating more than they're advertised for, that's maximum efficiency. That means even more gains. Now I really do love your comments. It makes making these videos even more exciting. A big shout out to Lawrence in Norwich and Jubilees McSugar Tits who have got a similar system to me and it looks like they're generating roughly about the same despite being different locations in the country. So let's talk a little bit about this export tariff. I've now switched over to Octopus Flux, so I'm being paid more for my electricity that I generate. Now I was installed on the 9th of December 2022. It took exactly two months to get my paperwork through until I could get switched over onto the export tariff. But now that I am, it is so much more fun knowing that even when I'm not at home, I don't have to turn on the washing machine so I'm using electricity, I'm just making even more money. I'm actually to make it around about 22 and a half P per kilowatt. Now I love the fact that I was installed in December, one of the coldest months of the year, because it's given me all this time to prepare, get used to the system and try to understand what my averages are. Also, I don't feel that I've been spoiled by experiencing really high generation in the summer months. I've started off low and now it seems that the only way is up. I just seem to be generating even more and more electricity. Here's a little sneak peek. This month, April, I've been able to generate 22 kilowatts every day mostly. And don't forget, if you'd like to join up with us, you can use my referral link. You'll find it in the description. You'll get a £50 credit and I'll get one as well. Also, thank you for the 666 subs. Oh, 666. Good luck, I'm saying. Anyway, back to the data. Let's look at the daily figures, see if we can spot any trends. Feel free to pause the video so you can really focus on the particular part of the data. If there's something that I've not covered and you want to find out more, pop a question in the comments. I reply to all comments and I really do appreciate you sharing about your system. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you didn't, leave a comment below. Let us know what your system is.